Hi everyone, this is Bonnie and this is my new kit, Louder. And today I'm going to show you a little trick that I did with her legs to fix something that I'm going to show you today. And you can do it if you want, you don't have to do it, but for me, I felt like I was getting the most out of this baby. And I want to share that with you. So, in the molding process, what the factory has to do is they have to fill in any areas that they think might cause an issue with the molding process. So when they take the part out of the mold after they've poured the vinyl, it comes out in one piece and it, they have to pull on it. So in pulling that, if this area was too tight behind the leg here, it would possibly ruin the piece. So to fix that, what they do is they put the fill behind here and it leaves, it's kind of unsightly. I don't really like it. So when they pull on the mold, you can see it pulls out a bit and distorts the part. To make this a bit more sightly, I'm gonna show you how to reshape it. So it's not so dramatic. So here are Louder's legs. And this one is the worst affected of the two with the fill. And as you can see there. On that side. And then this one isn't too bad. So yeah, cute little legs. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to heat these up and you can do that the easiest way for you, whether it's with your oven if you're using heat set or with boiling water. Just be extra careful doing this as I don't want you to get burnt as it can, the pieces can be quite hot. So I also use a glove. This helps me hold the piece while it's hot. It doesn't burn my hands. <laughs> Just holding it for a long period of time can get quite hot on your hands. So yeah, I use a glove and yeah, I'll be back once I've got a leg heated. I'm back with my warmed up leg. And I'm just going to, and I also grabbed another glove. <laughs> Because it was a bit hard to handle with only one. So I'm going to hold it in the position, bending the leg so that filling pulls back until it cools all the way back down. And it's important to note that if you warm it again, it will bounce back to what it was. It won't stay in this shape so after you've done painting it's best to do this or if you just want to play with her blank with the bendy little legs like I do <laughs> but yeah you can see that filling is tucked in behind there I think I could probably get it in a little bit more. So I think I'm going to warm it up and do it again. But it's pretty good. So I'm back again. Strike two. And again, just holding the piece 
how I want it to end up. With that fill nice and deep behind it. starting to cool down a little bit now. I'm just holding it a bit longer to make sure it holds the best shape. I think it's there. Yep, that's it. much better. And I'll pop that there. And I'll get a normal leg to show you. So this is before. And here's the after. See how it bends nicely afterwards too. You can bend a little more just for posing. Whereas this one's a bit rigid because of that fill. Here we go. There we go. And now I'll get the other leg done. <laughs> so I'm back and the other leg is done and this is the original i'll move those out of the way so you can see the difference before and after reshaping and then the other side Both of them together. If you have any other questions, just pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you on them. Thanks for watching.